Oh. Hello. Quite a day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I am trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Go, oh, good heavens. Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. Drop the bag. Leave the meat, mister. And Kyle, don't think about coming back. Full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I am can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. <laughs> I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Look, you think maybe you should leave the wildlife photography to the fellers who know a little something about wildlife? If every great man had talked like that, there wouldn't be any great men. A little ignorance can go a long way. At least, that's what I tell myself. Or it can get you killed. But hey, good luck. Hold up.
there? Who? Hello? You're a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. I'm not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here, quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days, running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight, and that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say, but uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Look, you stand over there and oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Seek salvation. 
mountain. And maybe he shall find peace. Help a blind man. Okay, sure. Be warned, sir. Be warned. Surrounded by fields of burning fire and flesh, the devil will make his sacrifice. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. Three sheets to the wind, I reckon. Let's get out of here. Well, let's see. I am gloriously fuddled now. I feel so light and heavy at the same time. Have I told you what an amazing woman you are? Oh, But you are. Let us be free and wild and bad, my dear. Let us make love like love has never been made before. Uh. Let me take you to the clouds. Well, that was pathetic for all of us. Let's go, girl. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Mm. Where is that little Irish best? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side, and then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government or people whom the government like seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. Down 
down there? Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep. That's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Stay here. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose... Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Ugh! <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, lean all those boots you got there, eh? Those are very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Come on! Ah! Son of bitches! Camps up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take them down. Goddamn arm. Look at these bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Maybe we should do it ourselves. Still time. Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. 
What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. Mr. Oh, Morgan. The hell if I don't yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh. He'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, girl. <laughs> That's an interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Watch it! Look out, Arthur. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Ugly business. 
Yeah. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned... Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. We can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. I'm 
want to adopt. I'm offering you virility and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, Mr. My rates are reasonable. Have a think about it. I'll be around this way next Gentlemen! Done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Yep. Well, we need anything we can get right now. Yep. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Feels like Sean's been back forever. He makes his presence known. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! Yes, Miss Grimshaw. 
one of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. You've got his number, all right. Stay out of it, Arthur. 